write the cartesian product cartesian product of r real line cross real line real line cross real line now what is the definition of cartesian product let me write it it is a cross b is equal to set of all a comma b such that a belongs to a comma b belongs to b this is the definition of a cartesian product so what is r cross r r cross r on the next line i'm writing is equal to set of all a comma b such that A belongs to A. A belongs to real numbers, and B also belongs to real numbers. So both A and B are what real numbers, and you are going to take all such pairs. Okay, this set is nothing but our x y plane, which we denote by what? Which we denote by R two. That is the x y plane we call it the x y plane <clears throat> so our x y plane is actually nothing but what x y plane is nothing but the cartesian product of real line with the real line so we we'll note it here note the x y plane is the cartesian product of real line with itself this is the x y plane okay so now we will look x y plane as a cartesian product and it is a cartesian product of whom it is a cartesian product of the real line real line is denoted by what real line is denoted by r with itself okay now what we will do we will look at integers so the next example sketch the cartesian product z cross z sketch the cartesian product z cross z okay now what does z stands for this z stands for integers so let me write the answer first solution z stands for set of integers so what are the elements of z the elements of z are 0 1 2 3 -1 -2 -3 and so on okay these are the this is a set of integers now what i want to do in this current problem is 
I want to sketch the Cartesian product Z cross Z. So we will write down what is Z cross Z. So Z cross Z is equal to the set. Set means I'm going to put a I'm going to put a curly bracket. Inside, I'm going to write pairs A comma B such that this oblique line, this oblique line is is said to be such that A belongs to Z comma B belongs to Z. Both A and B belongs to Z. Okay. Now, when I try to write down all the pairs inside this set, now let me write some sample pairs here. Okay, so for example, I will write in the curly bracket. I'm going to write a pair, suppose two comma three. First pair. I'm going to I'm going to write at random. I'm going to write four five pairs. Okay. Suppose I write one comma zero. I write zero comma one. They can be positive also, they can be negative also. So I will have minus two comma three minus 3 comma minus 2 and so on okay this set is how many elements are there in this set? how many such pairs can you form so this set is infinite set this set has so i'm going to put here dots okay this set has infinite number of elements okay and now what we will do is we will just draw a picture of this now how will we draw a picture of this set so we will Draw x axis and y axis. I'm scrolling up now. So now what I will do is I'm going to plot all the pairs. Okay, I'm going to plot all the pairs. So let me use a red ink. So I'm going to first plot zero zero. This is zero zero. I'm using the red ink. Okay. The next point is one zero. The next point is two zero. I'm going to make these red dots. Next here I'm in the left hand side I'm drawing minus one zero. Then minus two zero. On y axis I'm going to type, type uh, I'm going to plot zero one and zero two zero three and I'm going to insert these points in the figure red colored points i hope you can see i don't need the blue color lines in the picture only the red color dots are actually what the red color dots are representing the set z cross z the blue line uh, the horizontal blue line is the real line i don't need the complete real line the vertical line is also a real line, which is a y axis. I don't need even that. I have to look only at what? I have to look only at the points which are red color in uh, red in color right now. And that set is called as what? That set is called as Z cross Z. So I, on here I will write this is Z cross Z is collection of these red points. Or red dots. Okay, this, this, uh, these dots are often called, or this collection of dots is often given a very simple name, so that it immediately comes in front of your eyes. It is called as a lattice. Okay, it's called as a lattice.